आरोग्य सेतु कोविन डिजी लॉकर दीक्षा ऑल आर ऑन ओपन सोर्स डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज डी ऑल ऑल आर देर सी वन टू थ्री एंड फोर इनफैक्ट देर आर सम कन्फ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग दिस कोविन वेदर इट इज यू नो ओपन सोर्स और नॉट बट इट हैज बीन फुल्ली क्लैरिफाइड नाउ ऑल द फोर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ऑल आर इन द ओपन सोर्स प्लेटफॉर्म ओनली सिमिलरली क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वेर रेफरेंस टू वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट ऑल द थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट so d is the answer web 3.3 technology enables people to control their own data in uh, web 3.3 world there can be blockchain based social network it is operated by users collectively rather than by a corporation so all the answer all the three statements are correct in question number 12 so answer should be d similarly question number 13 again luckily you know this time what i have found is most of the statements they are giving right so all the three statements are correct again in question number 13 that is software as a, so a service saas all the three statements are correct it buyers can customize their user interface and can change data field also you can access their data through their mobile devices uh, yahoo mail or hotmail all are based on the same idea only saas only so all the three statements are correct so question number 13 uh, it is d then coming to the next question that is question number 14 about a fractional orbital bombardment system it's a very interesting thing answer is c uh, here uh, you know this is a missile which can be launched in an orbit and this missile will revolve around the earth and finally depending upon the requirement it can finally get you know guided to a particular target so you will never know when it is launched nobody can guess for whom this missile is launched so this particular technology what we call fractional orbital bombardment system even though this is not a new technology it was uh, you know first developed in 1965 but uh, it was a, it's a very costly affair then we had this uh, uh, various uh, uh, arms controlled vts which were coming up a uh, start one start two you might have heard of all these things so this was not uh, especially after start two Uh, this has been uh, controlled actually or it, it has not been developed by uh, ussr or uh, us and all but now it is in news that is why it has come in the question uh, right now because china or other us is accusing that china is developing the same technology once again or they are trying to have missiles which can be launched in the orbit it will be revolving in the orbit and as and when it is required it can be guided to a target which can be really dangerous so all the anti missile uh, technologies will fail in this particular case so it's a very interesting one fractional orbital bombardment one so answer is c 14 is answer is c coming to question number 15 it's a simple question about qubit see quantum computing uh, you know that is uh, we we know the binary numbers in our computing system one and two or open and close or uh, on or off but here in quantum computing we are talking it's a new technology or rather it is a future technology quantum computing and where qubits are used in quantum computing only so in this particular case answer should be b and uh, where you know you will be saying that a particular object can have uh, you know it may not be uh, we may not be decide whether it is on or off it can be in between also it's very interesting and it is the future technology coming to question number 16 here following technologies which are a short range device technologies all the three are short range device technologies so uh, d is the answer because uh, whether it is a closed circuit television radio frequency identification wireless local area network all the three are short range device technologies only so question number 16 should be d then coming to question number 17 17 biofilms again all the three statements are correct see you are lucky to get such questions where even if you have slight doubt Uh, we can go ahead okay uh, here all the two questions are correct uh, sorry uh, you know, all the three questions all statements are correct biofilms can form on medical implants within the human tissue then biofilms can form on food and food processing surfaces biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance also see ah uh, see unfortunately in our question which is typed uh, there are three uh, three statements the third statement biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance which is missing see biofilm best example is our tooth plaque you know the the coloring which is there that's a good example of biofilm or uh, you know on on a pond on a local pond if a, a surface is filled with uh, algae that is also a biofilm so so many examples of biofilms are there and it can all the three statements given in this question are correct so answer should be d 
And now moving into question number 18 regarding probiotics. Here, luckily or unfortunately, anyway, again in the option there, all the three statements are not there. So we have to identify two of them which are correct. It is one and three are correct. So uh, 18, question, uh, answer is C. Because second statement, see probiotics, probiotics that, that is probiotic dahi, probiotic curd which we consume, uh, it can be made of both bacteria and yeast which is correct. Second statement is wrong. The organisms in probiotics are found in food we ingest, but they do not naturally occur in our gut. That is wrong. It is actually enhancing the gut flora. Probiotics will help in increasing the quantity of the bacteria in our stomach, which is already present. We are enhancing it. So it is the, the second statement saying that they are not naturally occurring in our gut. That is not naturally occurring in our intestine. That is wrong. So second statement is wrong. One and three are correct. So answer is C. Question number 19 about the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and the, uh, the, the, uh, the vaccines which are coming. So B is the answer. Two and three are correct. Because the Serum Institute of India produced COVID-19 vaccine named Covishield. See, uh, Serum Institute has not uh, produced uh, uh, this, co you know, this Covishield, uh, uh, you know, Covaxin, sorry, Covaxin, Covishield only. Yeah, yeah. So that is correct. But uh, in Serum Institute's issue, uh, just a minute, let me just... Uh, uh, look into that. Yeah, so the COVID shield is made from a weakened version of a common cold virus known as adenovirus. So, uh, COVID shield from mRNA platform is wrong. It is from a common cold virus known as adenovirus. Covaxin is an inactivated viral vaccine. Sputnik is an adeno adenovirus vector platform. Okay, so in among the three, uh, one is wrong. So, answer should be B. So question number 19, the answer should be B, 2 and 3 are correct. Yeah, question number 57 is about the role of B cells and T cells in the human body. So answer is D, uh, in, because, uh, you know, it is, uh, this is the one, uh, you know, 57, it says this B cells are the type of cells that produce antibodies to fight bacteria and viruses. So it's a straightforward, simple question. If you know something about B cells and T cells, we can easily answer. They produce, they protect the body from the disease caused by the pathogens. So D is the answer. So coming to 58, question number uh, 58, again answer is D, D for Delhi. Here they are asking about nanoparticles. The first statement says other than those made by humans, nanoparticles do not exist in nature. That is not correct. In fact, nanoparticles are existing in nature because of tides, maybe, you know, even uh, volcanic activity. There are naturally occurring nanoparticles also. So, the first statement is wrong. Second statement, nanoparticles has, have some metallic oxides are used in the manufacture, some cosmetics. Yes, nanoparticles are elaborately, even in toothpaste it is used. So, nanoparticles can be there in, uh, you know, in the cosmetics. And also, nanoparticles have some commercial products which enter the environment are unsafe for humans is 100 percent correct. In fact, there is a nanoparticle pollution is a big concern. It's a big hazard today and so much of uh, discussion and debate is going on. So, two and three are correct. So, answer should be D here. First statement saying that it is not formed, uh, you know, only by humans, not formed in, uh, found in nature is wrong. So, two and three are correct. So, answer should be D. Coming to 59. Again, this is this can be a, some idea of DNA barcoding. If you have, you can easily manage, you know, distinguish among species uh, that look alike, identify undesirable animals or plant material in processed foods. This can be done. But DNA barcoding cannot be used for assessing the age of the plant or an animal. So, two and three are correct. So, answer should be D again in question number 59. Question number 60 uh, about acid rain. Manish, you want to say? Yeah. Ah, it, it is very easy. That is why I want you to say. Okay. <laughs> B so is the answer. <laughs> B will be the answer. Acid rain, you know very well that when there is excessively high content of nitrogen oxide.